Hello, I'm Dr. Gerald Chodak and this is ProstateVideos.com. For men on hormone therapy for the treatment of advanced prostate cancer, many are advised to take calcium and vitamin D supplements in, as a method to try and reduce the risk of developing osteoporosis and also fractures of the bone. Uh, Hello, I'm Dr. Gerald Chodak for ProstateVideos.com. In this video, I'm going to talk about calcium and vitamin D supplementation for men who are on... Uh, Hello, I'm Dr. Gerald Chodak for ProstateVideos.com. In this video, I want to talk about preventing osteoporosis or thinning of the bones for men that are on medications that will lower their serum testosterone. That's currently what we do for advanced prostate cancer. And the belief is the combination of these two agents will lower a man's risk of developing osteoporosis and fractures. A recent study looked at all the available scientific studies on this topic, and they concluded there's actually no proof that taking calcium and vitamin D supplements will prevent or even reduce the chance of osteoporosis or fractures from occurring. So there clearly is an uncertainty that we are aware of. Nevertheless, current guidelines do recommend taking these agents as a way of lessening the side effects of hormone therapy. The concern here is what is the safest or best dose? Since it's never been studied properly, you might be taking a dose that's too high. And you should carefully discuss this with your doctor. Obviously, for people who take a lot of calcium in their diet, from milk products, cheese, things like that, there will be an increased dietary component. And therefore, if you're also taking high amounts of the supplement, you may exceed the recommended daily amount of calcium, which is probably more than 1,500 milligrams per day. As for vitamin D, there's also a concern that exceeding the recommended doses could be a problem for you. So the bottom line here is there is considerable uncertainty whether or not you will benefit from calcium and vitamin D supplementation and whether or not it will help prevent these, these things from occurring. You should carefully discuss it with your doctor if you are on hormone therapy to find out whether you should supplement your diet and what is a safe dose to achieve and to also be careful that you don't exceed what we consider to be safe doses at this time. Hopefully one day we will get evidence from good clinical studies that this is indeed a necessary thing for you to do and that you're truly benefiting. And until that time, I guess the best recommendation is to have a conversation with your doctor about the pros and cons and carefully adjust your diet and adjust your intake so that you stay within a safe range. I hope you find this information useful. Thank you for watching.